Hi everyone, it's Katie from SafeWise here with an update for all you Ring camera users. This Tuesday, Ring announced that they're rolling out end-to-end -end encryption, which means that your live video feed will be inaccessible to anyone outside your Ring circle, including Ring. This is an opt-in feature, so you have to voluntarily turn it on yourself. We have a link in the description if you want to find out how. This feature is also available to all US users and other users across the globe, but you have to have a hardwired ring camera for it to work, so sorry battery powered users. Along with end-to-end -end encryption, Ring is also adding two-factor authentication and CAPTCHA to their app and the neighbor's app. This is supposed to help out with any bots trying to log into your accounts. Ring is also making it easier to transfer ownership of your cameras. So if you're a renter moving into a place with a Ring camera or wanting to sell your Ring camera online, it'll be a lot easier to give it to someone else. So what's the big deal? Why are we giving you this update? Ring in the past has fallen victim to hijackers and hackers. So it is a big deal that they're taking extra measures and putting a little more power in the user's hands to keep extra barriers between you and some bad actors. As far as our advice goes, if you do have a Ring camera compatible with end-to-end -end encryption or any of these other features, give it a try. We recommend any and all extra security measures that you could take for something like this. If you want to learn more about Ring, check out our full Ring playlist. We have videos on Ring and their relationship with the police. We have lots of videos on Ring doorbells and a more recent update from June updating their policy with local law enforcement. That's it for us today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.